Hi YouTube, a uh, quick video this is, um, just bought myself a new Marquita bandsaw, or Marquita, however you want to pronounce it. Just a quick review, um, obviously bought it for making knives, um, looks around at various machines but the choice in the UK is a bit limited now, used to be able to get Milwaukee, DeWalt, um, Black & Decker even did a 240 volt one. Um, I didn't want to go battery, and there's a, there's a choice of a few battery ones, obviously Milwaukee, DeWalt, Marquee to do a battery one as well, but um, didn't really want to go battery, wanted a pair of 240, so um, just a quick review of it, I've only had it um, a few days now, um, cut a few bits of steel on it, I've made a small table for it to go on. Um, you can use it hands free as well, or well, not hands free, but as a normal hacksaw. Um, I do a couple of videos of each. I'll bring you down and we'll get started. There's a little table I've made for it. Still needs to be painted, it's just a 2mm steel bent. Just a piece of um, signboard there, just to steady the base. Some rubber feet. And I just bit of fancy juggling here at work today, bit of kydex on top, um, still got to put the bolts in that but I thought I'd do, before I paint it I'll just give a quick demo, there's a saw, small light up there, it's not terribly bright but may come in handy, variable speeds, slow to fast, would you guess that eh? <laughs> um, Locks on. That's slow. That's slightly faster. Um, used it on three at the minute, that seems plenty quick enough. Um, so cut that piece of O1. I'll just cut a bit more for you in a minute when I get set up. Um, mounted it there through the holes uh, that come with it for the foot. There are mounting holes here at some point, I might mount it directly to, to a wall here, move, have a bit of a move around and just have it mounted on there and with the rest under there. Um, Swag Off Road do tables for the DeWalt ones and the Milwaukee but they don't do anything for this uh, so I've come up with this myself. Just needs a little bit more trimming around here, give it a bit more room. I'll put some edging on there just so it'll seal up nice and tight with that dust going down in there. Uh, so it's quite a quiet machine. Um, I mean, I've got another small bandsaw there, but that's a low powered one. It's not really up to cutting steel, only 350 watts. This is 710, 750, is it? Yeah, 710 watts, so it's pretty powerful for cutting this. I mean, sometimes I'll cut. Uh, stack of knives somewhere on the go. I generally stack my knives together when I'm doing like a run. These are four blanks there that I've just hole sawed out. Um, I'm not sure it's going to manage that, but we might give that a go one day. So here we go. It's a decent machine with a once you register it online with a three-year warranty. So that, that's why I basically went plum for this one, um, as well as having little choice really. Um, I do think about going 110 and getting a Milwaukee one, but um, these are slightly lighter than the Milwaukee and still well up to the job. So I'll get you set up and we'll do a little bit of cutting. We'll scale this um, mount at the minute. Here we'll go in. Zoom you in a bit. Yeah, right. Yeah. The defenders on.
find a little composite. There you go. Small piece of uh, curry on there. We'll just try that. Zip through that quite nicely. Got an uh, and the finish isn't bad. It's an 18 tooth per inch blade. I've ordered some um, Morse blades, I think, that come in hopefully sometime this week. That's just a blade that comes with it, 18 tooth. Pause the video here and I'll come back and I'll cut some with it off the stand. Quick close up of these are bearings there. Two there, nice and wide. Another two there, and of course the one behind. These bearings beyond the blade up here. And none down there, so it's that's a drive wheel down the bottom. That's got a slight play in it, that wheel is, to help with the tracking. Um, some lights under there. Yeah, it's quite, it's a nice machine. Um, I'll set you up and we'll do some more cutting. Ten mil by thirty that is. Using the weight of the machine, not going mad, forcing it through, let it cut itself. Uh, four mil alloy there. I need to cut it for a template, I'm not cut too much of that. got to do is keep it tight there as it will bounce as you just saw. What else have we got here? It's a bit of uh, paper, paper my carter I think that is. Yeah. Not a cheap machine, but professional tools generally aren't, are they? They're designed to last. And so you register it online, you've got a three year warranty. And um, yeah, really pleased with it. Yeah. Right, guys, have a good one. Cheers.